Broadcasting live, 2K Sports presents the NBA. It's Monday night. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Therese Halliburton is accustomed to winning. He says, anyone that's been around me knows how much I want to win. The goal, first and foremost, is helping change this culture for the better. I'm here for a reason, to make an impact. To go in the right direction, I've got to be a vocal leader and just have fun playing basketball. Kevin? Well, D.A., clearly he wants to make his mark. Thanks for that report. Got a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Joel Embiid. And he's fallen out of favor a little bit in their offense, at least compared to how he was being used earlier in the season. His usage percentage is down over the past five games. Maybe he'll be more involved here tonight. A look at the 76ers starting group. Front court filled in by Green at three and Harris at the four. Russell is out there with Seth Curry, and it's Embiid in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Kings, Fox in the backcourt with Halliburton to his side. Bagley and Holmes sharing the post duties, and it's Barnes in at the three spot. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. And it's such a great feeling to come out strong, but, but it's hard to maintain that consistency. The teams that do, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strength. Russell finds and beat. Easy two points on the lane. This is why you see MB the rock. His teammates trust his ability to get the job done inside. Curry against Halliburton. Holmes passes to Halliburton. Holmes with a screen on Curry. Pass to Fox. Shot clock at six. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Holmes good. But this is why Fox's teammates love him. I mean, when they're open, he makes sure to get it to him. Russell feeling it out a bit. Into the lane. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on to Aaron Fox. And Russell, a player known for his offense. But Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack Take a break. of defense Take a break. there for a while. Two shots. But he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. And the first one at the line is good. And the evolution of Russell has been fun to watch. I mean, and, and he's not done growing just yet. Not by a long shot. And so Russell hits them both. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Halliburton outside. Here's Fox. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Well, he's so capable of scorching you with, with the in-between jumper. Fox takes no time getting the shot off. Russell with it. Picked up by Bagley. Russell against Bagley. It's Russell with the drive. Curry kicks to Green. MB the pass to Harris. Pocket six. Out to Russell. Fires the three. The shot, no good. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Fox against Russell. And here is Fox. Boy, he was something else against Utah. Takes it inside, and that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Uh, appreciate the effort, though, making his presence felt defensive. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Clock is at three. Shot from 12. And it's Halliburton missing. Oh, golden opportunity that he can't make good. Or maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Now, here is Russell. First last out, and we saw him pour in 22. Now, Fox. Inside. 
Here's Bagley. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Now, what a strong finish by Bagley. Getting physical to overcome the contact and get a shot. Out to the wing. Embiid from outside. No good. Shot missing. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. Just looked a step quicker all game long. They knew they had an advantage on offense. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Russell passes to Harris. Top MB over to the left wing. MB sets the pick for Russell. Back to MB. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. MB's got five points so far. Well, you must respect MB's range as a defender. He'll make you pay every chance of this. Holmes finds Fox. And MB with the block. Curry on the wing. Outside, Green. Pass to Harris. Fox with the steal. And here's Barnes for three. It's hauled in by Harris. 76ers have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Russell kicks to MB. On the wing, Green. Embiid with the screen on Fox. This is it to Embiid. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Here's Barnes. Holmes trying to free himself up. And that one's good, Barnes. Barnes has got his second bucket of the night. That's no run of the mill finish by Barnes right there. He gets thrown off balance by the contact. Keeps his focus, stays with it, and gets it to go. Now here is Harris. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Over Halliburton. Harris' his shot is good. Uh, the dribbling maneuvering of Harris. I mean, just an absolute genius with the ball in his hands. Halliburton against Curry. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And, and you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Here's Fox. A dependable source of points for his team averages just under 24 points a game. Bagley sets a screen for Fox. Five to shoot. Rejected by Hicks. Oh, he's known for his offense more than defense. Harris plays with a high motor. He likes to make plays. On top, Russell. Guarded by Fox. Harris finds Russell. Green with the ball. Back to Russell. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Halliburton with the steal. And the Kings pushing it up now. All going up court. Curry with the steal. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. Here's Harris. And the rejection by Hole. Green against Fox. Here's Barnes. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got three assists now in this one. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now, here is Russell. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Now, here's Fox. After D'Angelo Russell's miss, Curry was a nice D. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Outside, Green feeds it to Embiid. Over Fox. And they pick up two. Embiid's got seven points in the game. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Last season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. Yeah, how about hovering around that coveted 50-40-90 club? 
What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. on the floor for the Kings. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Drummond's checked in for Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for Danny Green. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Seth Curry. And Maxie's subbed in for Russell. And so here's Sacramento. It's a three-point game. Here's Medu. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Five on the clock. Here's Mitchell. Again, the miss by the King. And, and already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Here's Maxi. That shot off. Kings leading now by three. Healed with it. That one doesn't drop. He's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. Harris, no good. Healed outside. Kicks it to Mitchell. Back to heel. Now here's Thompson. Right now averaging about five points a game. He dishes it to Mitchell. For three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. This game against Sacramento is the first time they've met this year. And last season, they made short work of this club. Two games, two wins. It makes sense. I mean, when you look at where they both finished, there's a reason one team was in the playoffs and the other one was uh, on vacation. Bobbed up there for Drummond. It's stolen by Davis. There's the pick. To the middle. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Oh, that's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Harris passes to Drummond. Jacks up a three. And the three ball is good. Milton. Oh, man. Fantastic awareness from the big man. Drummond has an impressive understanding for what his guys have to do. Heel kicks to Mitchell. Taxi grabs the miss. Philadelphia's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. And Philadelphia with another turnover here. Looking at the numbers for Harris, he's been more than solid over the last month. He's putting up about 16 points a game, six rebounds, and two assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work off of him to look to create problems. The 76ers trail. And here now is Thibel. He's still scoreless so far in this one. 
Drummond, the screen. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. And an important part of every team's game. We'll look at the hustle stats for Sacramento. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. And the other thing they've done well is they've run the shooters off their sweet spots. They've really closed out well and Shoot forced two. them to put the basketball on the floor. Free throw drops in there for Thibault. Plans checked in for Thompson. have been the most dangerous scorers in the league over the last 10 games. Fifth, Davian Mitchell. He gave them a luxury in those games that a lot of teams just don't have. I mean, being able to plug a rookie in and know he's going to carry his weight offensively. And he can't hit the second. Drummond. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Check by Heel. Nobody around. And that one falls coming off of Davis' speed. And the Kings lead by four. Philadelphia's gone two or five from three point land here in the first quarter. They set the pick. The pass to Thibault. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points in the line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Matisse Tiger, back the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And it's Davis with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Three-point lead. Madhu passes to Davis. Now here's Heald, defended by Milton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
That's that one on him. A big piece Second of a trade team sending team. DeMarcus Cousins, Chris, to New Orleans. Nine, Buddy Heal. He had to change teams Buddy in his Heel. second year in the NBA. Yeah, yeah, I went through something similar. Uh, getting traded early in my career. I mean, this is a joke to your system. This league is so hard to adjust to, but you got to find the right opportunity. It's all about opportunity. Give credit to Buddy. He didn't let that trade affect his development. Free throw drops for Heal. Yeah, we've seen Hill take a leap, becoming a more confident and, and assertive score and a leader for this team. Both free throws good from Heal. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Maxi passes to Drummond. And it's Milton, top of the key. Off target from outside. Uh, when he forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. Here's Mitchell. Rebound by the 76ers. Right, it's time for him to start looking for other options. They can't let him keep shooting. His touch is gone. Drummond with a screen on Mitchell. Maxi passes to Drummond. Played in with a nice touch oh, off the glass. Nice. Wow, that's a really astonishing play from Drummond. Carving out a ton of space thanks to his wide screen. is sprinting to the basket with the true purpose. Mitchell finds Heal. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Heal's got eight. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from D. Maxi passes to Drummond. Now, here's Milton. He's tightly guarded. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Drummond with a screen on Davis. Here's Bible. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first personal foul. Philadelphia shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting two. Free throw drops in there for Thibel. That one misses. Kings leading now by five. Mitchell looking it over. Fires the three. He can't get it to go. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's Sacramento up by five. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Staying hungry, Joel Embiid continuing to improve every season. You know, coming into this year, I just want to, you know, take advantage of, you know, every single day. Uh, you know, just making sure I was in the best shape of my life. Well, he's already made huge strides in his conditioning, and it shows. Not satisfied yet to win that MVP trophy, but he is more than capable. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And for the Kings guys, what jumps out to you? Stats one. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court right now for the Kings. And Halliburton on the wing. He's joined by Barnes. 
Bagley. Bagley is out there with Len, and it's Fox in at the point. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Kings currently have the league's longest playoff drought. De'Aaron Fox was eight years old the last time they made the postseason. He says this is the most passionate fan base. So let's be special and dig out of this hole. As competitors, we want to win right now, but we know that we're building something. Kevin? Well, they've got the right attitude and close to a breakthrough, many people think. David, thanks. Fox passes to Bagley. Curry against Halliburton. Right side, Russell. Pass to Embiid. And down the road, Greg, which current player might make for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well, but I got a sneaky suspicion he'd just grab our old team. Now, here is Halliburton. After the miss from Joel Embiid. The three. And it's Halliburton missing. The 76ers trail by five. Green kicks to Drummond. Pass to Embiid. Back to Curry. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Fox passes to Barnes. Keeps control of the ball. Russell against Barnes. Passes to Drummond. Curry on the wing. And here's MB. Back to Curry. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Bagley with a screen on Russell. Fox passes to Bagley. Halliburton against Kirk. Outside Russell. He kicks to Embiid. Back to Russell. Drummond sets the screen for Russell. Over Thompson. Russell no luck. For the 76ers, the last game a win against the Trailblazers in court. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave. Now, here's Bagley. Props in the layup for two. Bagley's got four points this quarter. A confident score. I mean, even when the defense is on Bagley and being aggressive, he gets it done. Russell high post. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And the Kings making a change here. Holmes checked in. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Green finds Embiid. Embiid with a screen on Fox. And the call on the shot will send him to the line. And a quick review. Looking at some numbers here for D'Angelo Russell. Averaging about 18 points per. Four assists and four rebounds. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. Take a break. I think if you Take talk to anyone on this team, shot. they believe in his abilities 100%. First free throw is good. And so Russell hits them both. Kings leading now by three. Halliburton passes to Holmes. Dishes it to Barnes. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. 
Embiid's got four rebounds in this game. Curry against Halliburton. Embiid with a screen on Halliburton. Here's Curry. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Off contact. I mean, Curry, he's added a lot to his game since coming into the NBA. Fox passes to Bagley. Halliburton outside. Cruise it from outside. Halliburton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in there. Now here's MB. He had 16 points in the win against Portland. Yeah, but what even was more impressive in my opinion was the shot block. By the end, they were afraid to win the ball in Curry shot is off. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Four-point game. Yeah, Kevin, when it comes to Marvin Bagley, the number two pick in the 2018 draft, he was selected ahead of Luka Doncic, who was picked third. Now, here's Holmes. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. The 76ers trail by four. Outside curve. And the pass to Drummond. Out of bounds, Sacramento will take possession. And I really think it's important that Bagley focuses on his strengths. He shouldn't concentrate on matching Doncic's production. Yeah, Bagley's a different type of player. I mean, he's a double-double threat with impressive athleticism. He just needs to find a way to stay healthy. Matisse Thibel checked in for Philadelphia. Maxi comes in for Seth Curry. Now, here is Halliburton. A 14 point game for him in the win against Utah. Great open look there. Barnes has got the lead up to 7 now for Sacramento. And the D has gotten a little bit lax here defending the triple. Russell passes to Green. And beat against Hole. Second chance shot. That one is good from Joel and B. I love the activity from him. He's just doing whatever he can to keep plays alive. I mean, he's getting rewarded for it right there. Up top, Fox. He's guarded by Russell. And the foul called on Danny Green. Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. Sacramento making some changes. Davis has checked in for Harrison Barnes. Heel comes in for Halliburton. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris has checked in. Oh 76ers on defense. Trailing by five. Here's Holmes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on MB. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Now, how about last season? Made about 79% of his attempts, so those are really quality numbers. First one falls. Shake Milton. He's checked in for D'Angelo Russell. Both free throws. Good from home. Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, a very smooth touch on his stroke. He passes to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Embiid. And the rejection by Hull. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter. Seven of the shots. He'd be better off passing them. Knocks it loose to the left wing. Healed outside. No oh, good on that one. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Pass to Maxi. Over Mitchell. Maxi, no good. Sacramento leading by seven. 
here's Davis. Bagley trying to free himself up. Well, defensively, B can take over the game with this reach. Big block for him right there. Now, here's Maxi. Covered by Mitchell. Here's Harris. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Now Mitchell. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. All right, a moment to check out stats for MB. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. First in blocks. Sixth in rebounding. And how about his top 10 ranking and free throw percentage? A knockdown shooter, ultra reliable from the line. He has been a human highlight reel all season long. Clearly the best shot blocker in the game right now, and he has the numbers to back it up. Now here is Harris. He picked up 15 points in the last one against Portland. It's Davis on the win. Sends a screen for Davis. Again, the miss by the King. And it's Harris with the ball for Philadelphia. It's a five point game. Fiebel finds Harris. And Davion Mitchell gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Lens checked in for Sacramento. the wing. He's guarded by Davis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. And a tough opening half for him in terms of his free throw shooting. At the line for two. Shooting two. Free throw drops in there for Thibel. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Medu, he's checked in for his shot hole. He doesn't get the second one. Sacramento leading by four. Healed outside. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And a brief look now at who's leading the league in the rebound department. Number one is Joel Embiid, Andre Drummond fourth. Guys, we're lucky to get to watch two of the league's most outstanding rebounders on the same court here today. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Pass to Harris. There's the three. Nailed from three-point land. Harris has got five points now in the quarter. Catch and drink. Harris is a dead-eye shooter. He provides great space.
Here's Len, still getting warmed up offensively, no scoring yet from him. Mitchell outside. Heald outside. Len sets a screen for Heal. Got it. He's now three for five from the field. Born to support the basketball. As soon as Heal sinks a few, watch out. He's feeling it. The 76ers trail by five. And the 76ers all time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Bad shot selections. Well, it's some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And seeing where the 76ers are, they're proving that all the talk we heard about them in the preseason was warranted. What a role this group's been on here early on. Well, we know what they're capable of, and these fellas aren't waiting around. They're putting the hammer down. I mean, not holding anything back. Now, here's Milton. Passes it to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And there's the pass to Embiid. Just five to shoot. For Glenn. The rebound by Hill. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot hit his shots to drop. Davis with it. Now defended by Embiid. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. the inbound pass it's hauled in by Harris Harris has got rebound number five here tonight <laughs> and when you bring up the process to Embiid he just says it's an ongoing thing yeah he's explaining a few times that it's a process for making the playoffs then another one for the conference finals then another one just to go to the finals that doesn't even have you win a ring <laughs> And here are the Kings now. Philadelphia able to train the three. And it's Heal off the drive. A nice shot by Medu. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Maxi passes to Embiid. Shoots over Len. Len grabs the board. Len's got four rebounds in this game. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Healed a tackle. He hits it for nine. Now it's a six-point Kings lead. These teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spots. He's done a lot for these shooters. 
Maxi passes to Harris. 32 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Clock at four. 14 feet away. Rebound by Mitchell. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. It's always a surefire way to get back in the game. And the team has gotten it done here in spite of his performance. Still over from the field. Looking to get it going. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. 76 year substitution. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Kings lead by six. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much with Luke Walton. Luke, obviously a big game. How's your team doing so far? They were great. Uh, they were locked in. That's what I wanted to see, the possession by possession type of mentality following a game plan. I'm real happy with the mental preparation we have right now. They are following the script, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And that game against the Warriors, they really should have an advantage heading into this one. But hey, stranger things have happened. The league is unpredictable. Pretty much anyone can win at any time. Now let's talk about this matchup. So far, a good start for the Sacramento Kings. It's great to see a team going inside, challenging the defense in the paint. You don't see that mentality as often in today's game. So much is perimeter. Guys want to stay on the outside. They don't want to get sweat equity. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Really an incredible game from Buddy Heal. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. So on the floor for Philadelphia, the stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. Outside the wings are Curry and Green, and it's Russell in at the point guard position. And here's Green, he'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by six. Back to Russell. Harris looking it over. Six to shoot. Here's Embiid, and the rejection by Hole. Pass to Fox. And there's the feed to Bagley. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Russell against Fox. And the slam dunk by Russell. I love the spatial awareness from Russell. Saw how much room he had and just took it aggressively. Here's Harris. Again, Philadelphia. He doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Halliburton passes to Bagley. Here's the drive. Overall good ball handling for a big man. Bagley got to the rim, but didn't stop there. The 76ers trail by six. Outside, Russell. Another three for Philadelphia. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Pop pass to Bagley, and Embiid 
with the block. Pass to Bagley. And finish off by Bagley. There's always been a power aspect to Bagley's game, and every time he goes strong to the bucket, you get a taste of it. Russell kicks to MB. No good there. Great D that time from Bagley. I don't know if it's been the main factor, but this off night has definitely been one factor. Halliburton finds Fox. And there's the try. And Curry pulls it down. Oh, no excuse for a guy of his caliber. You've got to finish that slam. Gotta be a little embarrassed by that one. And B, no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Bagley with us, three on Russell. Fox against Harris. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got his third bucket of the night. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Russell passes to Embiid. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. Aaron Fox. And that'll be his third foul so far. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Embiid sets the pick for Russell. Shoots over Fox. And Embiid throws it down. Playing with an edge. And Embiid with a slam. An emotional leader for his team. Pass to Holmes. The dish to Fox. Holmes setting the big for Fox. To Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. Exclamation point on that swing. I mean, think about it. Nick guy knows a thing or two about the highlight. Up top, Russell. Guarded by Fox. Russell, no luck. Kings leading now by seven. To the inside. And it's Russell with the rebound. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held him back as a team. Curry dishes to Russell. Can't get that one to fall. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for them. Halliburton against Green. Outside for Bagley. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Fox. And he overshot that one, missing. The 76ers trail by seven. Embiid with a screen on Hellebert. Here's Russell. Good work defensively by Hole. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Hellebert and passes to Fox. Barnes outside. Over Green. And that one's good. Barnes. Barnes has got the lead up to nine now for the Kings. A staple of Barnes' game right there. I mean, his mid-range shot is often worth the money. I'm so confident. Now, here's Curry. He averages a bit over six points a game. Here's Embiid. Goes to the reverse layup and brings it in. Embiid's got 13. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Halliburton passes to Fox. Now holds. Brian is right from deep. And the rejection by Embiid. And stolen by Barnes. There's the pass to Bagley. Pass to Barnes. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number eight now on the night. 
And you look at Harrison Barnes shooting, it's clear he's all about efficiency. And he wants to make the most out of every touch, and, and he's doing just that by shooting consistently. He, he's clearly put in the work to dial in his shot and limit wasted opportunities. Looking to end his cold spell, and no good that time. Curry with the defensive effort. Here's Russell, 11 points in the game. A shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Let's check out the NBA's best three-point threats. Look at Curry. He's absolutely deadly from outside. He is as automatic as they come from behind the arc. And that shooting ability makes him an option every trip down the floor. And the first one drops. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Alex Lenz checked in for Rashad Holmes. Thompson comes in for Bagley. Heald's checked in for Halliburton. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. Then for the 76ers, Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Jake Milton in for Curry. Both shots good from the strike. Sacramento leading by five. Pass to Barnes. Thompson left side. And he makes good on the way. These were tough to feel comfortable. Shooting very close to the rim. He's efficient. Drummond with a screen on Mitchell. Russell kicks to Drummond. Outside green. Milton finds Drummond. And Davion Mitchell gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Maxie's checked in for the 76ers. Tyrese Maxi. Now here's Milton. Covered by heel. And it's Drummond with the jam. Unparalleled power and athleticism. Drummond makes dunking look so easy. Passes it to Barnes. On the wing, heel. Six on the shot clock. Here's the drive, and it's good. The time running down on the shot clock. Heald's got 16. Heal doesn't rush anything out there. Even when the clock is low, he excels at getting quality shots off the time. Maxie passes to Milton. Over Heald. Got that one, and the Kings lead has been cut to just five points on the basket for Milton. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Here's Len. Nothing in on the scoreboard for him. The kick out to Barnes. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Now, here's Maxi. Bobbed up there for Truman. Trying to go for an alley -oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Here's Barnes. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. Maxie passes to Drummond. Now, here's Maxie. Back to Drummond. Shot clock at six. The pass to Maxie. One deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great deep. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. You look at Sacramento. They were hoping to get off to a better start to the season. Things are still early, so they still may have a chance. Sacramento leading by five. Mitchell outside. Three-pointer, heel. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Heel's got five points in the quarter. 
genuine sniper from distance. He was three-point stroke as good as it. Here's Truman. The 76ers again can't hit it. Sacramento's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Mitchell passes to Heal. Thompson sets the pick for Heal. Ball's knocked loose. The shot by Thompson, no good. Some very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay-in. Barnes against Green. Pass to Drummond. That one falls. Andre Drummond. Drummond's got six points. So physical. Drummond, it's hard to keep him away from the rim. Now here's Heald. Tight defense on him. Mitchell outside. Back to Heald. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's you have to commend the tenacity if you're earning the trip to the foul line. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Kings. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. And how about their post play? I mean, they're getting good offensive execution on the low block. That free throw, no good. Sacramento making a switch here. That is checked in. And he's good on the second. 76ers trail by seven. 52 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass to Thibel. Drummond the screen. Thibel with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Drummond and Drummond throws it down. Yeah, take it up strong, big fella. Pass to Mitchell. Barnes with it. Thompson, high post. Thompson sets the pick for Mitchell. Four on the clock. From 12 feet out. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And the wide open shot from Green. Hits the three-point bomb. Now just a two-point Kings lead. Uh, one of the great postseason catch-and-shoot players this decade. Danny Green is just the guy you can lead. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Kings have been good at the free throw line in this one, 7 of 8. Shooting for Sacramento. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. He sinks the second. One second left. No good. And we just finished the third quarter. And we've got a two ball game here. The Kings on top. They lead by three. And time for the short break. And stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Let's listen now to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his team. Strong with it down here. Get good look. 
On that end, we'll keep getting stopped. Great defense, great defense, great talking out there. So he is loving the effort on the defensive end. As he should, a supportive coach who knows when to give his guys some credit. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Box in the backcourt with Halliburton to his side. Bagley is out there with Medu, and it's healed in at the small forward. That's the five out there for the Kings. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Left side, Halliburton. Fox with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Halliburton for three. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now the pass to Embiid. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. Kings leading now by three. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Curry with the steal. Kicks it to Russell. Pass to Embiid. And he lays it straight in. Final basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. Fox deciding where to go with it. Nice deal from Russell. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Curry passes to Drummond to take the lead and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot and the foul called in the Sacramento Kings All right, Drummond's just hit his ridiculous frame poses a lot of problems for the defenders you can't fault them for resorting to hacking him right there He's off on the first. If you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. That's the kind of impact on the boards he's made over his career. The Kings making a switch here. Lens checked in. That one drops. He ties it up. And Greg, when it comes to players who've led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And the, the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, have got some good news for it. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. Now, here is Russell. Following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Russell passes to Drummond. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Drummond. Drummond's got the lead up to two now for Philadelphia. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Fox kicks to heel. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Some solid defense from Harris. Curry dishes to Russell. against Heal. Pass to Drummond. Here's Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. The team loves to see them fired up. Off just like this, I mean, they really rely on this throwing it. Halliburton passes to land. He dishes it to Heal to stop the run. Some solid defense from Harris. The 76ers leading by four. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Now here's Drummond. It's going by Bagley. Halliburton with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Halliburton against Curry. Healed left side. Just five on the clock. He kicks it to Bagley. 
Three-pointer, and it's sent back by Drummond. Oh, and the coaching staff loves this effort. They want Drummond to keep swatting shots like this. Here's Curry. Rebound by the Kings. Halliburton outside. And it's sent back by Drummond. On the way, Harris covered by Heel. With the fadeaway, the 76ers with another mix. The Kings trail by four. And here's Halliburton. Trying to get open his win. And it's Halliburton missing. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurt. Curry dishes to Russell. This is it to MB. Over Bagley. MB, no good. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for Sacramento. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Bagley with a screen on Russell. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Checked in for the Kings. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Luke Walton was just talking about strategy with his team. He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Sacramento with the ball. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Bagley the pass to Holmes. And the shot goes in. Eight points for Rashawn Holmes. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. Here's MD after the basket by Rashawn Holmes. Man, you got to respect the zone when he rises to the challenge. I mean, he's had a lot of criticism thrown his way. Instead of taking the court, he's got even more dominant. Shooting for Philadelphia, Joel MD at the line for two. One falls for And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. He hits both from the strike. 
And a good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. Fox against Russell. Outside, Fox. Out pass to Begley. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Russell with a wide open look. Good. And here is gets the assist. Russell's got the lead up to seven now for the 76ers. Sacramento's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Time to break that ice cold streak. County. Excellent concentration. I mean, when Fox is determined to score, it's tough for the defense to shake. And B with the screen on Fox. And beat inside. Broken on Bagley. And he gets it back. Lock at six. Here's Harris. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's just the big boy muscle of Harris. A real energizer who just fights through contact with the shot. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. Barnes is checked in for the Kings. That's good from Harris. And Greg, Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a veteran, he's earned the right. And he always seems to bring the guys together. Fox, no good. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Russell kicks to Drummond. Home. Russell against Fox. Here he goes. Banked in off the glass. Fox has got four points now in the quarter. This is Fox at his very best. He's so hard to stop when he's attacking with force. Timeout called the 76 And when Sacramento took Tyrese Halliburton 12th overall in the 2020 draft, they expected him to contribute right away. And Tyrese delivered when an NBA Rookie of the Month in his first two months in the league. Just making a change here. Green's checked in. Here's Russell. Outside green. 76ers moving the ball around. Yeah, it's no good. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. 
Halliburton against Kirk. Hagley with a screen on Kirk. And the rejection by Embiid. Green finds Russell. Back to Green. Out to Harris. The pass to Russell. Shot clock at five. Over to the wing. Feeds to Green. He can't get that one. And the Kings going the other way now. Outside, Fox. Pass to Barnes. Over Curry. Barnes can't get it to go. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 15-6 run. Embiid with a screen on Halbert. And Rashawn Holmes gets the whistle that time. That'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Fox against Russia. Right wing, six to shoot. Here's Embiid. The 76ers again can't hit it. The Kings trail by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Barnes against Green. And a wide look for Halliburton. Drills the three-pointer. Wow, his first triple of the second half was in two on the night. He's not making much of an impact. Russell passes to Green. Embiid against Bagley. Turn around J. And the shot is long. Sacramento's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Bagley sets a screen for Fox. To the paint. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut down to just one on the basket from home. It is so hard to guard in school roles. I mean, Fox uses his unpredictability to his advantage. Nice pass there. to Russell. Sinks the triple. Russell's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth of the 76ers. 
Oh man, impressive pass with the five spot. The league has a great feel for these guys going. And here with this Reno Russell. Here is Fox. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul. And he was uh, in the shooting motion. He'll head to the free throw line. That's on D'Angelo Russell. 76ers foul. D'Angelo Russell. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for second of all. Shoot two. D'Angelo Russell. At the line for two. So the first one drops, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Well, what sticks out about Fox, though, is his speed. He's one of the fastest guys in the game at both ends of the floor. Fox hits them both. As confident as it gets at the line. He wants to be up there in the tight ball. There's a screen. Second and a foul. Harrison Barnes. That's his second personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the 76er, Joel Embiid. Two shots. the first and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. But he's not about to let those points get away. I mean, he knows they're going to need him to. From deep. Fox, no good. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Philadelphia. Outside, Russell. Outside, Curry. And Bede sets the pick for Curry. Pocket six. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Fox with it. He's picked up by Russell. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Shooting for second Two shots. Shoot two. Good on the first, and that narrows the lead down to just three. Fox hits them both. Clutch. Those free throws turn this into a one-possession ball game. Down low. Here's Embiid. That misses off the backboard. And the well is running dry for him right now. He's not thinking far. Yeah, he's just hit a rough pass. He's trying to climb out of it, but it hasn't been successful. Now, here's Fox. Over Harris. Oh, what a huge pass that could tie the game! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in the stand. They thought they could count on him to make crucial shots. And we get home. He knows going nice cold. He's late enough for the game for him to recognize that hey, this is better option. <laughs>
23 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Now Fox. Home for the screen on Russell. Here's Fox. The tagger. He drills the game winner. And so it's Sacramento who straight by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball for the Eagles finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. Marvin, the team's playing well of late. What's the difference? We play together. We lock in. We work on things. Days off. We just try to focus on them. We came out and we executed it well. We we just playing together, man. We got to keep this thing going. It's a good feeling, I'm sure, man. Congrats again on the win. Back to you, David. Thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And now, our New Balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox.